In this video, we're going to look at integration by recognition, or the other way of saying it is integration by inspection. So if we look back at the, the chain rule for differentiation, if you differentiated uh, f of x to the power of n, what you would get, you would differentiate with respect to the power, you would have n times f of x, and the power reduces to n minus 1, then times the derivative of the function. So that means if you integrate this thing, if you integrate n times f dash of x times f of x, to the power of n minus 1, what you'll get is f of x to the power of n plus c. So we're going to, in these sorts of questions, we're looking for the presence of a function f of x and its derivative f dash of x. And we can check our answer by differentiating as well. So we're going to jump to, we've got six examples to do here. Uh, we're going to jump onto these and see how we go about doing this. Okay, so what we're doing, we're doing this integration by inspection. So really what we're doing, we're thinking, what do I have to differentiate so that my result is this thing? So uh, I know I'm going to have somewhere, in the, I'm going to have 3x squared plus 2. And what I'm going to do is raise a power of this, so it's 3x squared plus 2, all to the power of 5. I'm going to differentiate that and see. So I'm just going to say try to differentiate 3x squared plus 2 to the power of 5 and see what I get when I do this. Now quite often when you do this, it's the right answer that this will work. And then you know what your answer is for your integral, but uh, quite, quite often it doesn't as well. So first thing I'm going to do is differentiate with respect to the power. So my 5 is going to come down and 5 is going to multiply. And 5 is going to multiply at the front. So I'll just show all my steps this and I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm going to have 5 multiplying. And then it's going to be 3x squared plus 2. And it's now to the power 4. Differentiate inside the bracket, you'll have... Uh, 6, that's multiplying 6x. So what you really get is 30x times 3x squared plus 2 to the power of 4. Now, I was hoping I would it would give me just x times 3x squared plus 2 to the power of 4, but because that's what I wanted, that was my integrand, the thing I'm integrating. But what I have done, what I found is this thing is gives me an answer which is 30 times too big. So I would just write down this wee line, a lot of people leave us we line out, but I just keep uh, just keeps me right. Therefore, if I differentiate one thirtieth of what I have just differentiated, and you don't need to go through it, uh, but you know what the answer will be. It is just going to be x upon three x squared plus two to the power of four. So I know if I differentiate this thing one over thirty times. Brackets 3x squared plus 2 to the power 5, it gives me x upon 3x squared plus 2 to the power 4, which is what I wanted. Therefore, if I integrate this, I get 1 over 30 upon 3x squared plus 2 to the power 5. So I can just write that in as my answer. 1 over 30 times 3x squared plus 2, and that's now to the power 5, plus c. And that's our first example done. Okay, example 2, we have... Uh, 2 minus 3x squared to the power of 6. Uh, what I'm going to do is just try, I'm going to try differentiating 2 minus 3x to the power of 6, I'm sorry, to the power of 7, raise the power, remember, and then see what I get when I differentiate that. I'm going to leave out a wee bit of the working out here. I'm going to still, so I'm going to still have reduced the power by 1, I'll have 2 upon 3x, sorry, 2 minus 3x to the power of 6, that's going to be now. And then you're going to have a 7, your power is going to come out the front, and also the minus 3, so that's going to be minus 21. So I've differentiated with respect to the power and differentiated inside the bracket. So that was too, clearly too big. Uh, minus 21 times too big, so therefore if I differentiated minus 1 over 21 times 2 minus 3x to the power of, uh, to the power of 7, that would get me what I want, which was just... So 2 minus 3x to the power of 6. So therefore, if I integrate this, 2 minus 3x to the power of 6, I will get minus 1 over 21 upon 2 minus 3x to the power of 7. So it just equals minus 1 over 21 times 2 minus 3x to the power of 7, and then plus your constant of integration c. Okay, uh, this example again, I'm going to just try differentiating 7 plus 5x to the power of 4. And with respect to x, if I do that, what I get is 20 times 7 plus 
5x to the power of 3. So it's clearly, uh, oh, it's obviously fine. That's actually what we want. Where it was 20 upon 7 plus 5x to the power of 3. So I've shown I differentiate this and I get 20 upon 7 plus 5x to the power of 3. Therefore, if I integrate this, I'll get 7 plus 5x to the power of 4. So that is, this happens in an ideal world. This is exactly what you hope will happen. Very rarely does, but it has in this case. So 7 plus 5x to the power of 4 and then plus c, which is your constant of integration. Okay, uh, this one, I'll just divide this page up. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to try and raise a power of this x squared plus minus, x squared minus 2 plus 4. I'm going to raise it to the power, power of 6, differentiate and see what I get. So I'll get x squared minus x plus 4 to the power of 6, differentiate it, which is just going to give me um, 6 upon x squared minus x plus 4 to the power of 5 and differentiate inside the bracket you have 2x minus 1 which gives me I'll just write that as minus 12x minus 6 upon x squared minus x plus 4 to the power of 5 okay not easy to see but um, if you multiply the 4 by 3, you get 12. If you multiply the minus 2 by 3, you get minus 6. So what we have done, we found something which is 3 times too big. So I would just say, therefore, if you differentiate 1 third, make it as third, uh, 3 times smaller. So a third upon x squared minus x plus 4 to the power of 6. Differentiate that with respect to x, what you will get is what you want, which was 4x minus 2 upon, oh, run out of space here, upon x squared minus x squared minus x plus 4 to the power of 5 as required. So here, this thing is just going to be equal to 1 third times x squared minus x plus 4 to the power of 6 and plus c, which is your constant of integration. Okay, uh, not just obvious maybe what you're going to integrate or differentiate in this one. If you uh, write this thing back in index form, this is really 1 minus, I'll just change that, uh, makes it a wee bit easier for us to see. That's going to be 4x plus 2 to the power of minus 2. So when we're integrating, when we're differentiating, sorry, raise the power of this by 1 and then differentiate to see what you get. So over here, I'm going to try differentiating 4x plus 2 to the power of minus 1. To see what you get. If I differentiate that, I will get minus 4 upon 4x plus 2 to the minus 2. So that's clearly minus 4 times too big. So therefore, if I differentiated minus a quarter upon 4x plus 2 to the power of minus 1 with respect to x, what you're going to get is 4x plus 2 to the power of minus 2. So Therefore, if I integrate this thing, this is what I will get. So my answer is just going to be minus a quarter upon 4x plus 2. That's the power of minus 1 plus c. Now, I don't think I'd be happy with that as my answer because they haven't given their answer in index, their question in index form. So I would probably just write that as minus 1 over 4 in the bottom line and then 4x plus 2, and then plus c, which is my constant of integration. You could also multiply in by that 4 if you really wanted to, but I think that's fine as it is. Okay, same idea in this one. I'm going to uh, write this, first of all, as an index form. There's my limits are 0 and 4, and that's now going to be 1 plus 2x, and that's to the power of minus a half. So I'm going to raise a power of that so 1 plus 2x and that's the power of positive a half and see what i get when i differ there apologies right okay so if we uh where do we get to we have 1 plus 2x to the power of minus a half so you raise a power of the half minus a half to go up to positive a half and then we want to differentiate this thing to see what we get so you've got uh you've got 1 plus 2x to the power of a half differentiated that will give you a half, I'll show all my steps in this one, a half plus 2x to the power of minus a half. 
and then that's differentiating inside the bracket you get 2 so what you actually get half times a 2 just gives you 1 so 1 plus 2x to the power of minus a half which is what you had wanted over here so therefore we can go on to a square bracket because we have now integrated and it would have been 1 plus 2x and that's the power of positive 1 half and that's between 4 and 0. So first square bracket, two square brackets going on here. The first one put in your 4, the second you put in your 0. So 1 plus 2 times 4 is going to be 9 and that's going to be 9 to the power of a half and then 1 plus 2 times 0 is just going to be 1 and that's 1 to the power of a half. 9 to the power of a half is 3, 1 to the power of a half is 1, which is just going to be 2 as your final answer. Okay, you're now ready to do topic 7. It's the integration B and then exercise 1.